Here's a new house being built. See the roof line. would it be? Look at this. How easy would it be to put some insulation in here? And as you can see this cavity, that would be your closest horizontal plane right there. Tack some insulation up on here. Boxed overhangs. This triangular or this beveled plywood that overhangs the wall. And these are hollow. A lot of times they get in at the corners. This whole thing is just a triangular pizza. They just pitched it off the roof. And this triangular cavity goes all the way through there. Here's a good example of the cavity they get into. See lots of light through there. Go around your house and look for things to seal. There's a, a spot right above the top on the top of that beam that the bees could get into the, the roof cavity. That right up there, lots of cracks and spaces that they could get into. And that's the idea, going around your house and just looking for all these little cracks and stuff. Well, when they kind of tried to seal up. can see kind of how the caulking is kind of pulling away already. Something like that, shoving fiberglass insulation or steel wool in there first and then sealing over it. This is the house. It looks fairly well sealed, but this is an example of the tin around the top of the chimney. You can see all these, all these gaps in the tin are potential entry points into the chimney chase. So stuffing fiberglass insulation underneath there would block that hole. Potential spot right at the top of this beam. Like that. Looks like a hole. And you plug it up. Same with this side. That gap that's along the top there. 
right in the corner is a potential place for them to get into the, the cavity in the roof. Flashing right there are it's a possibility. Whenever you're sealing a house, you have to think about the seams that are involved. You can see up in this corner, now there's a seam at the pitch of the roof. And the possibility of them getting in is, is there in the corner. And the gaps right there is there. The bees will find a way. If there is a way to get in there, they'll find it. Possibility underneath that tile. Stuff and some insulation underneath there and keep them out. In this particular house, the bees were collected on the wall, but they had, as you can see, this entry is sheetrocked, which creates a cavity. And the bees were looking to get into the into the cavity of the front entry through the uh, the gaps in the in the boards here. We put some insulation in some pieces, but and these are that's the kind of stuff you're looking for to seal up. Yep, yeah, looks pretty good in here. Can't be no more than here. Oh shit. Looks like a hole. Yeah, that's better.